Hey everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at, at you together. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so welcome and we are so glad that you guys are here and we do yes. pray that um, you are encouraged by what we have to share today mm -hmm. and we're basically just going to be sharing some of what God has been speaking to of a, to us specifically over the last couple of days I would say probably like the last three days or mm -hmm. so um, there's and, a word yes there's a message yeah and so we just wanted to get on um, here and share that with you uh, but before we begin as always we want to give a huge thank you to everyone who has given and continues huge. to give um, huge <laughs> huge huge thank you very much thank you <laughs> um, no but well, we do want to just give, <laughs> give thanks to all of you who have given um, it is a huge blessing huge <laughs> and um yes and so <laughs> and so if you want to give yeah. there's a cash app venmo and paypal link below we really appreciate it yes. bless you guys thank you guys i mean come on we've been at this for we've been raising support for this what we're our whole life married no jobs full-time ministry in the most unorthodox fashion who who would have saw this coming i didn't did I you didn't, no. i mean with four children that's six people god supplies every single day i mean yeah. and y'all if y'all have been with us for a while you know we have gone through some ups and downs some ins and outs some what's going on and some wow praise the lord yeah. you know but we we always are kept in a place of just dependence on the Lord's provision. Now, you getting a massive windfall inheritance, you're still dependent on the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, you may not be dependent on the Lord for money, but now you're dependent on the Lord for the wisdom on what to do with it. Yeah. So you're never not in a position where you're not dependent on the Lord. If you're in a position where you're just, I'm, I'm good, you become like that guy where the Lord's like, where he's like, I built my barns and I've done all this stuff. I'm good. And then they die. Mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, now you're dependent on the Lord for something else. Yeah. You see, you, know, you want to stay in a position where we're dependent on the Lord. So mm -hmm. we give praise to the Lord. But we also thank you guys specifically who give to us because God uses people. Yeah. And so that's why we do this at the beginning of our videos, because our videos are long. And a lot of times people don't make it to the end to hear it. Yes. So, <laughs> And so if you want to give, it's uh, the, the giving links are below. Um, and as the weekend is upon us and next week's coming, praise the Lord, I'm going to be able to make a payment, uh, a week long payment uh, tomorrow mm -hmm. but you know dude that's gonna just it's gonna sap us it's gonna be like it's gonna skadoosh us yeah and but we have... do praise the lord for just how he's so, continued to provide each and every day continual for... flow yeah so praise the lord for all of that yeah and it was it was rough there for a minute i was just like oh my gosh but i really feel like god used that as a sign of like get ready Mm -hmm. You know, things are coming, which is what we're going to talk about here in our video. So yeah. huge thank you. Huge, huge thank you to all of you out there who give to our ministry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. Oh, we might have just lost some subscribers there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, yes. So basically, we got done with our God time tonight and God again was hitting on these same points that he's been speaking to us about for the last couple of days. And mm -hmm. I was just like, all right, you know, Devin, how, how tired are you? Because I really feel like we should do a video. Um, yeah, you see how this. tired I am. <laughs> you got a little zip fizz, so you're well, good to go for a little Well, it could be delirium <laughs> before you, you know what I'm saying? How your kids go nuts just before they Calm crash. Down. I kind of feel like I'm right there. So just to squeeze the juice out into the video. Okay. Yes. And, um, <laughs> and so God has just, he has been doing so much, um, you know, just, yeah. there's, there could be so much to talk about, but I really just want to focus in on these last couple of days. And so, um, really 
God has been speaking to us a lot about faith and um, and also connected with Abraham mm-hmm. and covenant. And so basically, uh, I think it was, was that last and night? visitation. And visitation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we were seeing what the, was last night? the faith. Was that last night? That was last night, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You want to start there? Well, because we had, well, yeah, well, we had an afternoon there where there was some turbulence yeah. in our in 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 the faith realm of what we're believing yeah. for and other other very deep intimate things, you know, that we've never shared with anybody, and we're just wondering like, is this the Lord or not? And, and, and it's like, I don't mind revisiting things because mm-hmm. it's like, yes, I want to know like if something's. I don't want to just hold on to something. It's, like, it's the Lord and never revisit it and never get any kind of additions to it or any kind of, you know, like the, 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 the lens focused a little more clarity on, oh, that's what you were saying. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what you meant. Because that will happen all the time, mm-hmm. right? And you don't want to just sit on something old and stale. This is what it means. It cannot be touched. This is what it always means. And so, and so we had a little time like that yesterday, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Where we were just discussing some things. It's like, you know what? Well, what are we going to do? Well, we're going <laughs> to... It was funny. Can I just share a little bit? Sure. Because you were like, I was like, well, what do we do, Michelle, when we have these issues about hearing from God? It's like, and you were like, you're like, well, we go to God and we hear from God. <laughs> <laughs> and and why is that such? It was just. I just lost it. It was so funny. It's like because she's like, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it's like when you hear from the Lord and, and you're not sure if you're hearing from the Lord, and the answer is to go to the Lord to hear, hear from, from the Lord. Lord. How do you know? And it's like, how? How are you going to know? But I think ultimately, it, you know, and, f- so and for funny. this particular situation, for me, I knew it was like a flare up of the heart. Like some of these old things that can get triggered in me, questions mm-hmm. that I've had that I just feel like it's like God's like it's a healing process that I'm going through and so mm-hmm. it's like okay I know those things can get hit and flared up but then it's just like okay well Lord h- how do you rise above those things and I think that's really the answer during came. a time when you know the fullness of the manifestation of the healing is not yet yeah yeah and and I really feel like the answer to all of that came in our nighttime God time mm-hmm. and in during our worship time so you want to talk about that yeah and so um we had a good old time there yeah. sharing about it and everything and, we and prayed about a lot it of times that stuff can turn into an argument am i yeah. right yeah. i mean if we're being totally honest here yeah. it can turn into an argument about things and unnecessary but it's yeah. like it can be part of the muddy process but praise the lord we're past the muddy process <laughs> i speak it by faith don't disagree with me <laughs> i won't <laughs> <laughs> Or go the mud. <laughs> it's like, well, it's like, no, you're pulling me back in. Yeah, we don't, we don't no, need we don't. water in this dirt. <laughs> we don't want the mud. This is good soil. Let's plant some seed. Yeah. <laughs> some seeds of faith. <laughs> and so, and so, you know, because anytime you go through something together, you go through something together. Mm-hmm. You feel what the other person feels and everything. It just That's the price you pay for being in covenant with someone, you know, and it's a worthy price. I'll pay it every day. Give me another high five. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and so, you know, at nighttime God time, Michelle leads mm-hmm. and I'll just pick the songs and most of the time, most of the time, the Lord's like, oh, just go with the flow. Just, you know, just get on your surfboard of the spirit and just see where the Lord mm-hmm. flows. Right. And this is how I normally do it. I was just like, well, well, Lord, is there anything that's on your heart tonight that anything you got? Any kind of flow or whatever that you can just give me right now? Any kind of lead or something like that? This is how far it went. It's like, well, Lord, is there any... That's about as far as it went Mm -hmm. before the Lord... I'm not kidding. I don't know if you guys hear from the Lord like this, but I do. Not all the time. Not all the time at all. But this is how it went. I was like, Lord, is there any kind of faith? (laughs) That's what he said. He was like, faith. I was like, oh, okay. (laughs) 
he just like roared in my face faith <laughs> i was like oh okay and so i was like i just start picking songs that had to do with faith or you know believing god and but really more about looking to jesus the mm -hmm. author and finisher of our faith looking to god who is true and faithful and mm -hmm. who never lies it's more about looking to jesus i was going to do that song you know oh i'm gonna see a victory he was like no no, we're not, we're not doing declaration songs about what we're going to see and what the promise is going to mm -hmm. be. We're not doing that. Mm -hmm. I was like, whoa, this is interesting. I'm like, okay, what are we doing? And it was all about, I believe you are the God of miracles. And mm -hmm. it was just and things just about... And just like, I believe it. We, we were we listening to Phil Wickham. Like, I believe. Like, yes. It was declarations of like, mm -hmm. this is what This is I who believe. you this are. This is who you are. And that's why I believe it. Yeah. And so it was just like, come on, faith. Like, yeah. let's rise up in your faith. Like, who am I? Yes. Don't get concerned about what you're believing for as come much on. as who I am. And like, It's above all of that. Yeah. It's like, who who am I? What is my character? And, and believe and have faith that I am who I say I am. Mm -hmm. And that's really what kicked it off. And then we went into, it was really awesome because... Because as for me, a lot of times um, for the nighttime God times, when God really is just speaking to me is actually during worship. Mm. Like the worship is on. I'm like worshiping, but I'm also receiving from the Lord mm -hmm. um, because that just tends to be the time that God just like here, I'm going to go ahead and give you what this is the moment. Yeah, this is the <laughs> moment. Um, and. And so as we're doing worship, I was just getting psalms, different psalms to read. Mm -hmm. And and so we finished. We didn't have a ton of songs that night. I think we mm -hmm. maybe had like, like four or five. Yeah, four or five. Yeah. And then it was just like, you know what, guys, though? I just... We just need to read through some of these psalms. And they were all psalms of really declaring what God has done, what God is going to do, the truth of, mm -hmm. like, hey... This is who I am. I am going, you've gone out sowing in tears. You're going to reap in joy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm the God who has the seas part before me. I think we read Psalm 65 and Psalm 126. One, was it 114? Yeah, did we, we did 114, 126. Mm -hmm. And then um, we did another one. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Yeah, I forget. But, um... <clears throat> Oh, actually, it wasn't a psalm, but we read uh, Numbers. Um, That's what it was. Six, and it was just about the blessing. And it was just like, mm -hmm. here, look at who I am. This is what I do, you know. And may the Lord's, it, really, it was the number 626. And may the Lord's countenance, his approving countenance mm -hmm. uh, be upon you and give you peace and it's like that's what you know we're we're looking for is peace mm -hmm. and that surpasses all understanding yeah and then from there we literally went into a time of thanksgiving it was really a a night that was filled with praise thanksgiving but then the focus was on the lord and who he was is and just to say we have faith and we believe in you yeah. as as the one who will give us peace and joy yeah. that surpasses all understanding. Yeah. And so it was just this really awesome moment mm -hmm. <laughs> with the Lord. Yeah, and it was like, because we were very like, our situation yesterday afternoon, the, the heart exposure, triple four moment, wow. I literally said triple four moment and the timer was at 1444. There's a triple four. Anyway, it was a very honest moment. Mm -hmm. It was a very humble moment. We weren't complaining. No one was complaining. No one was whining. It was just like, you know, what's... There was some stuff that was stirred up mm -hmm. that needed to just be dealt with. And Jesus, like a perfect counselor and physician, he's like, here, this is the remedy. Mm -hmm. Faith. Mm -hmm. Go back to what I said. Go back to and let the peace that surpasses all understanding decide with finality all the mm -hmm. questions that arise in your mind, which is a, a, a medicine he gave us the week before. Mm -hmm. That we were that we had been chewing on and taking yeah. many sips of, and we were we were getting ourselves inoculated mm -hmm. to doubt before this even happened. Yeah, you know, and so then when when this stirring up of things happened, 
it was like, okay, well, let's just take it to the Lord. Let's go boldly before the throne, Hebrews 4 style, and mm -hmm. just say, God, this is where we're at. And he met us, and he just, he's just so honored and happy and blessed. Mm -hmm. He's just like, you're coming to me? You, you want to talk to me? Mm -hmm. It's like, yes, Lord, you are the Savior. It's like, oh, man, that, that, I just love y'all. <laughs> Man, I love me some Lavoers. <laughs> let me let me tell you what you need to know. Yes. Okay, <laughs> face. <laughs> yes, yes. It was mm. like, oh, okay. It was like clear, man. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. It, and it was very needed, and mm. so it was life giving. It was just very cool. Yeah, yeah but it, it really matched with what God had also been speaking to us and that's a lot about he was bringing up abraham you saw like oh, yeah i think it was also yesterday it was like all these 99s a ton a ton of 99s like literally like five or six within one hour yeah and they were highlighting to me like the prophetic numbers will do yeah and it, it's not something we would normally get in I haven't terms got of that like, in a long time so immediately it's just like it makes it, it caused me to think of abraham you know when he was 99 years old he has this visitation from god and it really was about god coming to him to say hey i'm changing your name putting the hey in it h-e-y mm -hmm. and yeah. and then there he tells him like this is how this is the sign of my covenant with you which was circumcision okay so here check this out we started this journey believing for a house right and now we believe that the lord wants mm -hmm. to do this house vision house church thing with us but it's a very specific kind of vision it's not just it's not just house church oh house church i know what that is no you don't know what this is trust me <laughs> this is prophetic art school type of ch church type thing um i i can't even explain it but we were believing for one abraham he was believing in the promise but what he was believing for was for one son mm -hmm. you know and we were believing for this one house mm -hmm. and then the lord came and visited us this year at the beginning or it was like Is this time last, last year, year yeah. and he's like i am going to give you more than one house to oversee it's kind of like an overseeing type of situation um and now people who have tons of money, that's not even a big deal. That's not even something they're like, okay, and? You know what I'm saying? It's not that. But for people in our situation, it's a miracle yeah. to even go in that direction. And so I, I see the same thing happening with Abraham there. Because mm -hmm. it's like, you're not going to be exalted father, which is what Abram means. Now Abraham, because the power of God mm -hmm. is going to be put in the middle of your name, mm -hmm. that inspiration, that divine implementation, you're going to be a father of a multitude. Mm -hmm. So you're not just believing for one, you're believing for a multitude. And that's exactly where we're at right now. We're, God has put it and trusted in, in us a vision to believe for a multitude of houses that are going to have a multitude of prophetic, artistic expressions come out of it. There's going to be intercession uh, and prayer, but there's also going to be just prophetic art of all different kinds, films, books, all that stuff. You name it, it's going to be there. And there's going to be a lot of young people there, too. Um, it's, it kind of reminds me of YWAM, how YWAM first started, where it was mm -hmm. just, he just saw the sea of young people. It was like, well, where are the older people? I don't know. I didn't see them in the vision, you know? But for me, in my vision, and my dream, I see all different ages, yeah, you know? and families. All different There's families. That I tell you what, that's what America needs mm -hmm. right now, is the resurrection of the family. Because mm -hmm. that's what the enemy is destroying with all the stuff that's going on right now, you mm -hmm. know? But yeah, I just saw that, like the father of multitudes. Yeah. You know? And so. I love that. So we've gone from just believing for our family to have a home to like being a home provider for other families. Come on now. That's how the Lord does it. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Yeah. And so, but, but the whole idea was just there was the name change. There mm -hmm. was the circumcision, which was a sign of the covenant. Yeah. And it was distinguishing and saying, I have set you apart as different from among all those of the nations. Mm -hmm. And I have a covenant with you and all your descendants after you. But then, but then you see 
in the very next chapter, so that's Genesis 17. But Genesis 18, again, the Lord shows up and he's like, all right, now's the time. Like, I'm here to bless you. And by this time next year, Sarah is going to have a baby in her arms. And But that was also when God came down to judge Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. And it was just really interesting because we were still speaking about faith. And tonight, I got the number 529, and I was like, oh, it just really stood out to me. And I thought, okay, well, let's go look, see what the Lord has to say. Mm -hmm. And in the Hebrew, five, the number 529 means faith. And, and I was just like, wow, like that's what we've been speaking about. Like God has just been emphasizing faith. Mm -hmm. and, and then I looked in the Greek and it means um, to uh, come to meet. And it's specifically used in scripture, some of the verses wow. that have to do with, um, you know, behold, the bridegroom has come, like, and the, they came out to meet him. Um, we will meet him in the air. That's oh, in Matthew first, 25. Yeah, Matthew 25, 6. The and 10 then, versions. Yes. <laughs> the 10, the 10 versions. <laughs> and First Thessalonians 4, 17. In both those scriptures, it says, like, come to meet the oh, Lord meet or him. him. In the air. Oh, yeah. And... And it just so made to meet me meet him in the air. That's the five twenty nine. Yeah, five twenty nine. Yeah. Wow. Cool. And so it so was just together. this idea of like coming to meet him, but then, which is really kind of what you see in Genesis eighteen, where um, Abram he or Abraham sees um, the Lord and the angels, mm -hmm. and he comes to them. He's like, "Hey, come aside, like." come eat like this is why you're here mm -hmm. <laughs> and um and just and so there's this idea of just encounter with the lord and i feel like that's just been one of the emphasis of this time is just god saying like i am coming i am going to you are going to encounter me i am going to be faithful and true to my word that i've spoken and and I want you to have faith for it, you mm -hmm. know, faith to believe for it, which is interesting because to, was it today you saw the 188 or when did that come yeah, out? Well, that was uh, yesterday and today. Yeah. I kept seeing the 188. The 188 was speaking to me. And for those of you who do not know about this, maybe you're like, why do they keep talking about numbers? The Lord speaks to us in numbers. He highlights numbers to us. Just like if you're like looking at a scripture and that scripture just kind of stands out to you. Mm -hmm. That's the spirit of God pulling out the highlighter. And your spirit is discerning a difference between the rest of the text and that scripture and he's using that scripture to say hey i want to draw you into something i want to speak something to you well then the lord will use symbolisms like you know headphones or the eiffel tower or lamps or and he will you just see him everywhere and it's like what are you saying lord and and when you seek him and pursue him he will give you an understanding about it mm -hmm. you know sometimes at some point later in the future but yeah. sometimes like right now and so mm -hmm. he does that with numbers as well and so i was seeing the 188 and I'll, i was like oh my gosh it keeps coming at me like okay i need to look this up and so that went to did you want to tell that part sure well and we we got that number actually i believe it was last year um it was really highlighted and so we, so for me we have a whole bunch of i keep track of all of our we have take notes for all of our God times and then yeah. I have a whole thing Stensive. where I just <laughs> keep all the we notes, notes together. Upon, so we have dimensions of notes. <laughs> and then we can just use the computer search so it's it's easier to like look certain things up. And mm. um, so we just went back and looked at the notes of like, okay God, what were you highlighting at that time? And I really felt like the 188 had to do with nothing is gonna stop the Lord from doing what he's about to do. But then also it was Genesis 18 verse eight, mm -hmm. which had to do with the Lord coming to meet yeah. <laughs> with Abraham and Sarah. Yep. And then also it was There's, Luke yep. 18, 18, eight. eight. And you want to... Well, it says, when the Lord comes. Yeah. So that's him coming. Yeah. There's another appearance of him. That's a visitation mm -hmm. of the Lord. And so you've got the 99 and the 188 
that both are really kind of saying the same thing from two different angles. It's like two two prophetic witnesses are popping up saying, hey, the Lord's coming, you yeah. know, come out to meet him, 529, you know. But then at the end of the Luke 18, it's talking about, but will I find faith? Oh, yes. On the earth. When I come. Yeah. Not if. Mm-hmm. When. Yeah. And in Ezekiel 33, 33 says, when these things come to pass, you will know that a prophet has been among you. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah 66, 9 through 14. I think we had a whole two days mm -hmm. soaking in the hot tub of those scriptures. Yeah. And it was basically saying like, when you see this God moving and acting and manifesting these things, your bones will flourish. Your dry bones of faith and hope are going to flourish. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to you're going to be just this is going to be an awesome time you should read it mm -hmm. but it's talking about when he comes mm -hmm. and then that's another another uh, testimony I guess you could say or proclamation mm -hmm. of him coming like mm -hmm. he's going to be coming so. but I really thought it was interesting though with the Luke 18 8 it's like will I find faith right. and God is speaking to us have faith like let's rise up in faith and look to me and even really both this morning and this evening again god was just like the focus is just look at me like see me mm -hmm. um even in the worship the songs are very much just like okay god like this is who you are and you know really him Again, just turning our hearts, like looking at the Lord, saying, we have faith in you. Mm -hmm. And and really, that's who we look to. It's like God has promises for us, but it's like he is, we have to look to the one who's made the promises, yeah. not to the promises themselves. It's like, those are great and awesome and wonderful, but you have to look to the person and I think a great well, can I say something? Oh, yeah. uh, a great example do you remember your example I hope so here write it down <laughs> <laughs> while I'm talking you can write your, your example okay. down so you can get back to it because you know the scripture God's not playing games with us you know mm -hmm. he knows that he created all this for us to begin with mm -hmm. to enjoy but with him mm -hmm. not from him for ourselves yeah See, and that's kind of what ends up happening a lot of times God gives us something and we get something from him mm -hmm. and we go off and we have fun with it ourselves mm -hmm. and then we we wonder why it becomes dry and it doesn't flourish and blossom into what it's supposed to because it's supposed to be with the lord yeah you know not just something from the lord because the scripture says a desire fulfilled is a tree of life well that's things not supposed to wither and die mm -hmm. you know and so it has to be with the lord it's like it's like you you want to get married a lot of times people want to get married and they, they can struggle because they feel like there maybe there's a sense of idolatry or a sense of, of divided heart because it's like, no, it's like there's a lot of people that get married and both married couples are very deeply intimate with each other and the Lord. It happens. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to be single to have the total ultimate int intimacy with the Lord. That's just not true. Um, but the Lord, he wants our hearts to be always him first. Mm -hmm. If he's first, then everything that he brings into our life, knowing that we have desires, knowing that we have those desires and they are a long time coming, make us heart sick. He knows all that. It's in the scripture. <clears throat> but the bottom line is, as long as it's with him, then we can enjoy it like properly, you know, and. And so that's what I, I kind of wanted to say something along that line right there. So maybe we'll just get back to your example and <laughs> I'll remember more of it later on. No, but I, I, I <laughs> it's kind of tagging on to what you're saying with just the, I think God gives a great example with the Israelites mm -hmm. and how he's like, once you're in the promised land, like, do not forget me. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really what God's heart is, is just like, look to me. And I know one of the things like 
you know, when you are dating and you know you're going to get married, you're engaged, and it can be easy to look towards the one specific day, you know, your wedding day. It's like, okay, and what, what do we all, what needs to happen for the wedding day? And like, okay, we need to get flowers, we need to get a photographer, you know, and you can get consumed with that. And I know when we were engaged, it was just like, God kept saying like, hey, you guys need to focus on the relationship. Don't, don't get focused on just this one day and pour your up. get swallowed up by yeah. all of that stuff why well because it's it's a day of celebration it's not you're not marrying the wedding day you're marrying the person yeah. and it's like it's about having that really Huge. strong foundation as you go forward together yeah. and and so I think the same is true with the Lord is like he wants us to be so strong in our walk with him and our life with him and that so that he's like I do want to give you the desires of your heart that's why he says delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart meaning like you just delight in him and so naturally he's like I'm going to give to you but he knows you're not going to be consumed with what he's given you yeah but also there is that warning for for everyone that it's like you could potentially have that drifting or moving away from the Lord if you start th getting too much like about the thing that was given rather than him and so it's just like mm -hmm. hey stay focused on me continue to just look to me even when the blessings are coming upon you even years down the road like he said with the israelites like do not forget me don't start thinking like you did this for yourself you know that you know he blesses the land blesses their fields blesses the storage all of that don't start thinking in your heart don't allow pride to start coming up in your heart saying look at what i have done you know and to continually be thankful and focused on god himself and so that's just like that was just one of the things that was coming up is just that sense of like look at the word um but with that I think it's just been the sense of like. Wait, can I touch on yeah. something? But then at the, on the other side of it, it's like there there is all that precaution and everything. But the ultimate thing is like marriages and receptions are supposed to be fun yes. and exciting. Getting the promise fulfilled is fun and exciting. You know, Elizabeth having a baby, Hannah having a baby. All these things are supposed to be fun and amazing and exciting mm -hmm. and good. And if they're, if they're in God and they stay with between you and God, it just becomes so, 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 so much fun. Yeah. And that's really what the Lord wants. And he offers the warning to protect against that which would steal from that, mm -hmm. which would take away from that. Mm -hmm. you know and so That's god true. expects you to have some fun and enjoy yes. what he's going to do for you yes so, agree amen yes amen <laughs> <laughs> but be warned yeah. <laughs> no, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to be in fear you can just walk walk with the lord through it all but um hmm. but also with the um just that idea of like come to meet the word and he is faithful tonight i was just reminded of revelation 1911 and it talks about um the lord as faithful and true and, oh, yes. and that was a scripture that we received actually when we literally the first night we moved to this place to this and particular room and it we've was, been in for like over three years now yeah we've been here longer than any other place yeah i thought we would have been gone you know something would have happened walls would have fallen down or something lazarus would have taken a breath or something <laughs> oh well we'll wait with patience and composure continue yeah <laughs> so um yeah so i was just reminded of that scripture about just how god said like i am faithful and true and you know he is going to be faithful and true to fulfill his word to um 
to do what he has promised. And so it was just this great reminder of like, yes, God, you are going to come and you are going to do what you have promised to do because that mm -hmm. is who you are. Yeah. He is faithful and true. And we have to believe, have faith in the truth of what God speaks about himself and who his nature is and, and believe that he will do what he's promised because he is faithful and true. And no word that comes from him is without, you know, power to fulfill and do exactly as he has spoken. Mm -hmm. And so... Yeah, I think that's... That's pretty much the that's, encouragement. That's pretty much the encouragement that's of it. just like, the, like God is going to come. He is going to visit. He is going to be faithful and true to his word. Mm -hmm. But on our part, God's like, rise up in faith. Yeah. Believe me so that Stand. when I come, yeah. because I am coming, <laughs> when I come, I will find faith and faith that goes above and beyond there is no ceiling to your faith yeah. that it's just a faith that says god we will go wherever you want us to go we will receive what you have for us to receive yeah. and and we are just overjoyed and ready for you to come <laughs> yeah so go listen to brandon lake's song tear off the roof <laughs> get yourself a dose of worship and praise and faith all in one song. Yeah. And if you call today, we will also throw in. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is where you need the shepherd staff and <laughs> oh, That's too funny. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I think that's all that we have for you guys yep. today. I do pray that you were encouraged. Yes. And um, I'll just pray for you guys before we head out. Yes. So, um, so Father, I just come before you right now and I just lift up everybody who is listening. Lord, I do pray that you would just burst forth uh, faith in their hearts, that you would um, bring forth a light and a sound of just your thunder from heaven that would mm -hmm. awaken their hearts to believe for more, believe for greater, and just believe in you and the truth of who you are, the character of who you are. And Lord, I pray that you would just come forth. You would come forth with just your mighty wind, the wind of your Holy Spirit. You would breathe life upon your people and bring resurrection. Lord, that those who have been waiting long and have gone through just so much um, would just have that fresh breath of air come upon them that they would resurrect um, in their hearts they would come alive that there would be an open door set before them Lord and that they would walk through Lord I pray that you would give us the door of victory so we can go through the door of faith God and that door of faith is to receive every word that you have spoken so cause mm. our hearts to rise up and believe for every word that you have spoken everything that you have placed upon our hearts to believe for God so that we can receive a hundredfold receive the full harvest of what you have for your people because you are going to bring the victory that is who you are you are faithful and true and you are going to come in your mighty power and you're going to go bring victory for your people and we will get to gather the spoils gather the spoils of our faith because we have continued to believe continue to um, press forward and hold fast to what you have spoken. And so, Father, we just thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your faithfulness. And we just pray that you would come quickly and that we would see your glory displayed upon our behalf and in our lives, Lord. And we just look to you, the author and finisher of our faith. And we thank you that you have placed a joy before us and let us continue to just move on and press forward in faith to receive everything which you have spoken. And we just pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. A to the men. All right, guys. Well, we love you and we will see you soon. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.